Hey, what's going on, Kato Squad? It is Kato here, and welcome to part three of the DLC Isle of Armor. If you remember last episode, we were able to have our Pokemon being able to uh, roam around with us in the Isle of Armor area, so I have this guy as my... Uh, roaming buddy because this guy looks so cool despite the fact that he does not look as big as he should and let me show you my party right now I only have it's a uh, it's two level 100 legendaries at the moment and Kubfu which it took me a while to get him up to this level but I think it's worth it for what we're gonna be doing next Kubfu you're gonna evolve this episode if it's the last thing I do and we're going to turn him into the water typing. Oh, also, I want you guys to do this in your game. Go to Mystery Gift, click on Get Wild Area News. Trust me, there is an event going on right now that we have to have a million people, people, a million people, a million players do this. What it is, is we have to fight against a Zeraora. I don't know if I can uh, pull one up for you right now. Let me, uh, hold on, let me check. Connect, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm honestly, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up lagging after this, but it'll be so worth it. Apparently, we can get uh, Kingler, right? Kingler? Uh... Whatever that one is. Corviknight. Look! There! Zeraora! There is a rare Zeraora event. We cannot catch it, but we can beat it up. And what happens after we beat it up is that, uh... Is, uh... Look, I'll uh, see if I can join this one and I'll show you guys uh, what happens. We'll get a lot of, uh of, uh, we can't catch this guy, but we'll get a lot of the experience candies, the Dynamax candies, and if we're lucky, a few other cool items, but what it is, is that, uh, when we beat this guy, the cool thing that will happen is that if we make sure to have Pokemon home, and during this event as well, which is ending uh, about a, a week from now to, to two weeks, I think. It's like 11 days or something like that. I don't know the exact date. It should pop up in the whole knowledge thing. Uh, uh, in the news and uh, the Nintendo Switch on the exact dates and whatnot. But what's going to happen is uh, if we beat this guy, and there has to be a million of us doing this, so tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your YouTubers, uh, everything, <laughs> that we need to beat this guy up. And he has a chance to actually sh spawn as a shiny as well, which that's cool. But the point of what I'm stating is, is with Pokemon Home, and beating this guy up, if we transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Home to Pokemon Sword or Shield, we can get this guy as a shiny in Pokemon Home the, as an event. Pretty awesome in my opinion. It, this is honestly one of the coolest Pokemon events that they've made so far. Other than the Mewtwo event that they made the, a few months ago. I mean, we couldn't get Mewtwo from that event. We can only beat him up and get a lot of uh, cool stuff, but look at this. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen, and if I'm correct, he's going to show off... Oh, I'm wrong. I thought this guy was going to end up showing off the Gigantamax, because the, the whole uh, 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 Max Soup thing that we saw... But I guess we're not going to see any like that for a while in the game. 
Dude, that was some damage. Zerora thinks that it can uh, defend itself. Uh-uh. Oh, that's a max flare. Youch, that's gonna not hurt as I thought. I'll show you guys the rewards of this, and then we'll continue on with the main plot. Because uh, this right here, what we're doing is just a little side uh, event that we're sh just going to show off. I'll make a side video that I'm going to be posting with episode 1. I'm pretty sure you've already seen it. And basically this is... Uh, this is what the event is, basically. And, yeah. If I'm correct, we're gonna get a lot of candies, a lot of items, a lot of cool things. It's gonna look epic. And, uh, yeah. Don't know what else to say, honestly. So let's just beat up the Zerora. And then we'll look at the... The event items that, that we'll gain from it, which, oh, <laughs> we didn't even need to break through its last shield. That's how strong we this team was. So, it'll run away now, yeah, and now we're going to get the items. So, here are the items for this particular Zerora. I've had one that was a level 3, and it gave me 10 times more worth of this. So don't count this as what you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting a ton more than that, especially if you do this multiple times. You don't have to do this multiple times, but at least do it once. So we get three uh, M XP candies, five uh, L XP candies, and let's see, three, four, five Dynamax candies. You know, you'd think that they would have, uh, like, a Dynamax candy and a Gigantamax candy. Like, candy particularly only for Dynam uh, for Gigantamaxes that boosts up, like, their attack or something. Maybe that's, an, uh, that's something that they'll do in the future. Like, release new items that'll give us uh, higher stats for our Gigantamaxes or even Dynamaxes. Like, so far, Dynamaxing is only boosting up the health, and that's it. Not really worth the doing, honestly, unless you're using very defensive and high health Pokemon. Anyways, let's uh, continue on with the event. Uh, with the story. So if I'm correct, do we talk to him? One day I hope to be strong as you. Oh no, never mind. Use Amnesia and forget what I just said. Wow, Darude. Um, Pokemon that can drink it. Read the book on the shelf. Okay. Pokemon that can uh, have the, the potential of Gigantamaxing with Max Soup. Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Rillaboom, Cinderace, Inteleon, Butterfree... Pikachu, Meow, Machamp, Gengar, Lapras, Eevee, Snorlax, Garboder, Do Not, Covernight, Toxicity, Akemory, Derone, Orito, Colossal, uh, Sandakanda, Grimmsnow, Flapple, Appleton, Hatterene, uh, Kavajan, uh, Kingler, and uh, Kenta course. Oh, and last but not least, the uh, ma Master Dojo secret. Oh, this book is unfinished. So I'm probably supposed to give uh, give uh, Kung Fu the power up. Hmm. If only someone. Uh, but no, who would gather that many? Uh, Kato, just the person I wanted to see. Tell me, do you collect Watts? Uh, yeah. <laughs> a 
Of course you do. You're such a pro at this, Kato. Well, being a champion. <laughs> uh, you're making me bashful. <laughs> I'll have you know that Watts, the Watts business is possibly blooming right now, around here. They are the key to what holds most Watts hold the key to success. Uh, okay. I've actually been trying to gather up Watts to spruce up the dojo a bit, get some more gear. Both my darling hubby and son are more indoor types, you know? And while it's pretty hard for me to collect that many Watts on my own, yeah, I'm going to have, uh... What's the spare? I'd be glad to take them. Oh, but I wouldn't take them just for free. I'd give you something back, of course. This would be tr a business transaction, so I'd reward you generously. When you have extra watts, simply come and talk to me. Well, let's see how many watts I have. I believe I have enough to do some craziness. I have 84,384 watts right now, so let's see what we can do. Let's see if this actually does some... Okay, let's first see what the goal spot is. 5,000. Hire a hairstylist for the dojo, so... That would be pretty cool to have this place as a personal, like, thing. Let's do 10,000. You like... Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go past that. Alright, let's see what this does. Hello, hello? Is this a hairstyle? Yes, this is Honey from Master Dojo. I was wondering if it could spare a stylist to come and enjoy this lovely island with us. Yes, that's right, the Isle of Armor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're sending someone right now. Hello, Dojo. It's lovely to meet you all. I'm the new hairstylist. I can't bear all the secret arts. So when you like to uh, please come with me in this store. Uh, no cameras allowed. No speaking of what you see inside this room. Whoa, okay. That's a real pro. True masters are always picky about their craft. <laughs> now, let's do our best. Even out here in the wild. Ooh, the Romo Terminal. What's that mean? Is that like the the computer? Hello, hello. Yeah, you blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yo, I finally have access to... Uh, to a computer in here. Though this doesn't seem quite right, but something written on screen, let's see. Thank you for your purchase. To get your next room on this is from what? They're simply trying to gouge us for more watts. Of all the greedy uh awfully sorry. We're gonna need a lot more. Okay. Yay! We're gonna have to go high! Is it worth? Yeah, it's worth. I can collect all those watts later with uh, Pokemon Home, and uh, and of course the casual running around the the Isle of Armor and uh, wild area. Da, da 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 da. Let's see. Let's fire it up. Roto, pleased to meet you, Miss Honey. Wrote to me at your service. All right. It seems like we got that working. And let's see what else is coming up. We can get a vending machine. Please tell me they're not gonna have to have us uh, do a bunch of like watts into it for actual stuff to be inside. Oh no, good. Okay. Hmm. Get all the drinks from there. We only got fresh water in stock so far, but... Oh, let's see. Ooh, so now we got soda pops in there. Ah, interesting. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Ah, lovely. Soda pop brings a little fizzle and sparkle to every day, doesn't it? And we don't even have to leave the dojo now to get some. There's still room to expand. So, if we got more watts... Oh, now we got lemonade in there! What's next in the options? Because I'm pretty sure we got a lot of watts here, so I don't know what's going to be popping up here. Honestly, this is my first time experiencing this. I didn't even know about this thing. Let's, uh... 
You know what? I'm okay with losing all my watts. If you can spare us another 15,616, then let's see. You'll have fresh ingredients for cooking regularly at the dojo. Does that mean we can uh, cook mm, Gigantamax stuff at all times? Hmm. Well, we'll find out eventually. Let's see. Mm. Want me to share one of my recipes with you? It'll cost... Uh... Hmm. I'm assuming those recipes are for this thing. And... As much as I would love to, I'd rather continue on the, the plot of the story, so... Is this guy playing... Uh... This guy's playing fucking... Wait. Yo, look at that screen! He's playing... Uh... He's playing that one Pokemon game. The f first Pokemon uh, game uh, that came out. It's a game in which a lot of square Pokemon appear. You know what game I'm talking about. It's, uh... It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Hold on. Uh, let's actually check. I got it in here somewhere. Yeah, this is all my games, ha ha ha. Oh, it's Pokemon Quest! Yo, that's cool. That is cool. Actually, real quick, let's check the news. Out now, yada yada yada. Sweet. Now let's return to the game. <laughs> Sorry for that little low uh, break. This is Pokemon Quest he's playing! Nice! Let's see what he has to say next. What's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Cub Fu are. Bear more! Good, good. You two are just the, the best of friends now, aren't you? Cub Fu has really gotten confident. How wonderful. I dare say. I think you're both ready. Oh, by the way, off camera, I did the little best friend thing with uh, Cub Fu. What you're supposed to do is just, there's like four places in the map. I think, where you talk to someone and you get to watch the view of Cub Fu. And Cub Fu gets all happy and cheers and it's so adorable, but I'll leave you to watch that either on your own game or watching other YouTubers that would live stream that or something. Follow me, you two. It's time we see what this guy has for us to do next in this game. This is so cool. Dum da dee da la da 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 da. What's he has for us to do? Phew! I guess it's a good spot as any. Now then, Kato and Cub Fu. If you're gonna get stronger, there are special training grounds just for Cub Fu. Prepare yourself for the Towers of Two Fist! The blue tower is the Tower of Water. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wildly, because you'll only be able to climb one of those two towers. Cup Food's fighting style will change depending on uh, the tower you choose. And the type it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower uh, is five stories tall. Each floor having tough opponents waiting for you. Make sure you level up Cub Fu properly before trying to climb. You can reach uh, both the towers by heading through the Forest of Focus. Or if you're going to be like me, I'm just going to use the bike to get across uh, the river to get to uh, the Tower of Water. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to uh, when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's going to be exciting. Well... Kapfu, it's time that I give you some candy, because I'm pretty sure we're going to need to get you a bit higher. Yeah. Let's see. Let's give you uh, 60 of these. Now he's at 87. Okay, that's probably good. Actually, let's give him uh, three more, just to... Yeah, 88. That's that seems good enough. Hmm. Can he have an ability capsule? Do you want to change Kung Fu's ability? 
I'm scared. I don't know what his other ability is. Anyways. Whoa, the lag spike right there. Anyways, it's time that we go over to the Tower of Water. Next episode will be in my other game, and it'll be us doing, well, little episode, the bit by bit stuff, where it's just us battling against the other trainer that we have to deal with. Along with, then, finally, the final episode that will be shown will be us taking on the Tower of Darkness, and then, it'll, well, I'll have both the, uh, uh, Water and Dark type Kupfu Evolutions up uh, with me in uh, one of my games, and we're gonna take on whatever is the final challenge of this uh, thing. That is, of course, if uh, it doesn't force us to automatically do the final challenge immediately. Uh, we'll find out when we get done with this tower, obviously. Hello, Kato. Master has always already sent word. This is the Tower of Waters, a special training ground that only Kupfu can use. If you climb the tower, please make sure that Kupfu is the only Pokemon on your team. Well then. Seems like we're gonna have to get rid of Frost Shock and uh, Mewtwo. Oh no! Oh, by the way, these Pokemon right here, this is what you get with the Ditto events. First Meowth, then, uh, well, Alolan Meowth, then Cantonian uh, Slowpoke, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Raichu, Alolan Marowak. Alolan Executor, Alolan Starter, Poplio, and then right here, I don't know what it is yet because I haven't gotten that far, but that's the, this spot right here is what you're gonna get at, when you completely get every single one of the Ditto guys, uh, not Ditto, uh, the Diglett guys, uh, Diglets. I haven't gotten that far yet, and I will never, ever record me getting all those diglets but I will probably have a little one minute video showing the Pokemon that I get along with all these stats I'm not gonna do that now that's kinda repetitive why did I exit out of the PC anyways let's first uh I guess give Kupfu an item? What item would be good? I'm assuming maybe, uh. Hmm. I guess maybe the Rocky Helmet would be good, because then when it gets hit, it'll deal damage to the opponent. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That's a, that's always a good strat to uh, use in, in Pokemon uh, games. Use items that'll uh, cause uh, problems to the opponent. If you raise your Kepfu to at least level 70, its training will go smoothly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gotten pretty far. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to ace this thing. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until you best five opponents or are defeated yourself. What's more, the tower you didn't choose will be close to you forever. Well, not for me, because I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the opposite in the other game. <laughs> now that you wish to foretake the path of darkness and follow the path of water? Yes. Remember, there is no turning back. Once you made up your choice. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. I can tell you have the... That your heart is set. Best of luck to you. For dawn to darkness. And uh, bring out the water. Kupfu, you ready? Yeah, you are. I wonder, can I just... Of course. They had to code it like that. I was beginning to think for a second. Alright. 
Rain falls to become a river, and the river will eventually flow into the ocean. Such is the great cycle of water. It will swallow you whole. Yo. Master Dojo Student. They should have honestly gave him the name. Psyduck. Oh, this is Misty. <laughs> Hello, Misty. Kapu, you can do it. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely overpowered. <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's use... Aerial Ace. One hit KO. Good job, Kapu! <laughs> yes, Kapu! Alright. It gains a little experience. Huh! I have been swallowed whole by your great strength. Got $5,000 for winning. Money, money. <laughs> Honestly, I would have loved Watts instead. I wonder if I could buy Watts. Alright. Floor 2. In a round cup, water becomes round. In a square cup. It becomes in a square teacup, a uh, teapot. It becomes square. Water is adaptable, changing forms to match the opponent. Prepare to drown in its power. Yo, <laughs> Master Dojo student. Again, they could have gave this guy a name. Krabby. <laughs> All right, kind of easy. Kinda glad I didn't get this guy to level 100, because that would kinda be overpowered. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Alright, give it another aerial ace. I'm saving my fighting type attacks for when we get to one of the higher areas, because I have a feeling, and this is a sneaking feeling, that Kung is gonna have to deal with something crazy. I did not get the chance to adapt. Hmm. Impressive, you can now proceed to the third floor. I like how I just run and leave Kung below and Kung just tries to catch up. What are these things? Third opponent. Raindrops may uh, be small and weak on their own, but a torrent of water can grind rocks to dust. Do you have the willpower to uh, withstand the re relentless torrent of my raindrops? I don't know, am I? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am. Go, Meryl! Okay. I want to get this thing defeated quick because this is a fairy type. I don't know if fighting can... Yeah, no, fighting actually doesn't go do good, so... Iron Head! Iron Head! Bump! <laughs> Yo, that was quick. Does this move first? No, it never misses. Okay. Aerial Ace. Finish it off. Then we need to heal, because look at how low our Kupfu is. If we have to fight against two more opponents, Kupfu might lose. And I don't want to deal with that. So, alright, before we continue, we're going to heal up Kupfu. Impressive. Now you can proceed to the fourth floor. Alright, Kapu, let's see now. Excuse me. What am I doing? <laughs> you know what? Full restore. And, because I feel like just being a complete jerk right now, give it that. <laughs> okay. 
Level 91. Yeah, we're gonna ace this thing, no problem. Yeah, we're gonna ace this thing, no problem. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have to worry about Kufu taking another point of damage again this uh, time. Now, of course, if I were to have played this legitimately, getting Kufu at the start of the game, or wh however very late I can get him in the game, at the beginning of the game, before I'm champion, Kupfu would be at the right levels, I would have leveled them up through the gem challenge, mostly through the all that stuff, you know all that stuff. Alright, let's do an aerial ace, this guy's a water fighting, so it's gonna take some damage to it. It's using mud shot, trying to lower my accuracy, but I'm using Aerial Ace, it can't miss, even if my accuracy is lowered, so, haha. <laughs> alright, alright, Whirlpool, Whirlpool, okay. Aerial Ace hits it again. Whirlpool still hurts. Youch, this, uh, okay, I'm kinda glad I used those levels. Because, if I didn't, Kapu right now would be in big trouble. In fact, Kapu is already in big trouble. He's just about to hit the yellow. On the bright side, there's no uh, need to worry. Alright, we're definitely going to need to um, heal up Kapu once again. Because that was just bad. <laughs> How did that happen? That's my biggest question. Okay, we're on the... We're on the final flooring now, so we're gonna we're gonna full restore, and now we're going to go up for the final match. Whatever's at the top, mustard, my boy. Let's have Kupfu be close up, so we, it looks like we're actually... There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Water, so I decided to wait for you to appear. Kato, Kupfu, you've both done well to get this far. My bear! Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since I last battled like this, but I think you can handle it. A stream too clear is avoided by fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of water! Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, he's pissed! Yo, yo, what the... No, 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 that, that is evil. No, that is evil. <laughs> He's using a Kupfu himself? Yo, Kupfu, you will do it, dude. Yes. I'll need to get serious if I am to beat you. Hone your senses now and let this battle sharpen you. Yo, he's level 70. Yo, yo, Aerialize! <laughs> I didn't expect this at all! Woohoohoo! Yes! Watch closely, Kato. This is Kapu's fist. Uh, are they truly capable? Aerialize! Yo, he's doing. He, you're mimicking me! You're using mimic! That's not a Kapu, that's a ditto! I don't even have to worry about it. Kapu OP. Good job, Kapu. Yo, let's see what happens now. Defeated Dojo Master Mustard. Ha 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 ha. You young folk grow so fast. It never ceases to amaze me. 14,000 for winning.
What a team. Impressive. Most impressive. What's happening? Oh, I knew you were worthy of my trust, Kato. You've done well. Very well indeed in raising Kupfu to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attempted this trial. But he never even made it to either tower! He got lost along the way! Yo, does that mean that Leon has a Kupfu of his own? <laughs> Now it's your turn for Cup Food to evolve. Now it's finally time for Cup Food to evolve. Go and show uh, Cup Food the scroll of water. Cup Food is ready now. Yo. Cup Food? Come here, boy. Come here, buddy. Leave a like, guys, because this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. Do you want to show Cup Food the scroll of water and have it evolve? Yes. Yo. <laughs> Urshifu! Urshifu! Yo! Urshifu's data was added to the Pokedex. The Wushu Pokemon, fighting water, rapid strike style. This form of Urshifu is a strong believer in defeating foes by raining many blows down on them. Its strikes are non-stop, flowing like a river. Wants to learn surging strikes. Yes, we're learning that. What are we replacing in it in exchange for it? It only has 25 attack power? What the frick? Hmm. This must be his Gigantamax move. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so weak despite the PP, ha uh, the power point attacks only having five. Hmm. This m always results in a critical attack. We're getting rid of, uh, yeah, we're getting rid of Aerial Ace. I don't think, uh, I don't think this would be a good move for Urshifu to have. Learn Surging Strikes. Behold, before you stands Urshifu. Sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. And it has mastered the style of water. Because! Yo. Ha! You've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think not long ago you would have ran and hid behind me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow has always bring so, always brings joy in my heart. Gato, Urshifu, thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me seriously. You know, faced me when I was taking the battle seriously. Muster's Lee card. Yo. 
Now then, let's head back to the dojo. Such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. What time? Let's get a better look at you, bud. Oh, where'd you go? Yo, that's how tall he is, in reality. This guy's a beast. Let's see what's in here. Like, if there's any differences now. Pop? Oh! Welcome back, Kato. Looks like you've been hard at work giving up with your training at the dojo, eh? Yeah, exactly! Hop! What are you doing here? I thought you were gonna be a professor! Surprise! A nicely done, Kato. Just the reaction I was hoping for. I heard about the Dial of Armor to research more about Dynamax phenomenons. <laughs> oh, so I heard that two of your friends are delightful. Hoppykins here. <laughs> Hoppykins. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done laughing. Hoppykins here was just asking my permission to camp out on the Isle of Armor. But where's the fun in munching oh about in the mud? I was telling him he should stay here at the dojo. I mean, it'd be loads easier than camping it for a long while, but when I'd be in the way, everyone's welcome to wear out their welcome at the Master Dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're a little brother of our Leon, after all. Yeah, it's true. We did train here when we were both kids. Alright then, Master Mustard. You twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it because I'm staying. Whoa! <laughs> the moment I'm out of here! I'm pleased to have punched in a good plated punch bowl. Which reminds me, Kato. I've got something to uh, mean to uh, tell you about Kung Fu, or really, it's evolution. Irshifu! The truth is, the beloved. Uh, the loved, lovable rascal is capable of Gigantamaxing too. It's a bit tricksy, uh, tricksy, uh, no, tricky, because it uh, really can't stand the taste of Max mushrooms. So Max soup is off the table unless you can make it more appealing to it. There's some, uh, there's a certain something you can find here on the Isle of Armor that'll make it even, even Urshifu gobble up the bowl of Max soup. And that certain something is, certain something is. That certain something, it's actually... The suspense is killing me. <laughs> You're throwing me up! <laughs> actually, I forgot what it is. Whoopsie doopsie! You're kidding me! No! <laughs> You're even more fun to tease than your brother ever was. The certain something I'm thinking about... It sure makes something more platable to and has something to do with another Pokemon. The word is cloister. Cloister? Does it really? Oh, you didn't know? Don't you have one, Kato? Well, I sticky honey. Honey is made from the nectar of plants, uh, flowers and plants, right? Um... I want to see something here. No, no, bear! Okay, so I can't give it to him now.
Yo, I might have to uh, continue this into another episode. Let's see what this says. I need to go here. The Force of Focus. I still got time. Hop is waiting for us there. You know what? Before we go into the into there, let's first get our party back. Yeah, that's our party. No more Lucario because we got our fighting type, Urshifu. Plus, Urshifu's higher level. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, let's just keep the Rocky helmet on him for now. We can, we can find a better item for Urshifu to use in a later time. Like, off camera. I'll tell you this much, finding those diglets are is a hard pill to swallow. Because I have about 20 left to find and I still can't find them. I mean, I found them in most of these locations already, so it's not that hard. There's only a few places left and I can just look it up on the internet. Finally, Kato, I've been waiting forever for you. Dude, it's only been like 5 minutes. And I would have thought... When what Tangled was a real maze, but this place has an entirely different level. It's so hot and humid I'm that I'm sweating a, a pond over here. Sonia and I split up places to survey, and she opted the cold and snow after all. Does that mean we're going to see Sonia in uh, Crown Tundra? Too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us. We'd both feel a bit better. Anyways. I was checking this out the focus uh, for the forest of focus when I saw it, and I saw signs of Lilligant and Applin live here. Maybe we can gather sweet nectar from them. Okay. All right. I reckon Lilligant and Applin are most likely. Okay, so do I just go battle them or? Or will they just give it to us? That's a Patel, right? Look, it's a Patel. Yeah. It evolves into a uh, little bit. That's what we're asking for. Hey, doesn't that Patel it seem to be acting a bit strange? It does, doesn't it? Seems like it's looking for something. Looks a bit lost. Yeah, now that you mention it. Maybe got separated from its parents? Oh, it's coming up to us! Whoa! What are you glumping on, mate? You must be really lost if you think I'm your mom. And now I'm stuck. Okay. You gotta help us out of here, Gato. Go find us one of Patel's uh, parents or something, would you? Look for some worried looking uh, elegance. I'll stay th here with this one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. <laughs> okay, hop, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a weird uh, glitch there. It blurred up on us. Okay, so where would it... Where would it be? Let's use the bike to move faster. No. The poppy here? No, that's another exit. Whoa, lag spiking. Lag spiking. Oh, the lag spiking. No, no. No. Where are they? That's a Pikachu. Oh, there we are. Hmm. Wow, I can't encounter this like a regular Pokemon. This is an actual, like, overworld uh, Pokemon that you could talk to. Don't you just miss these kind, where it's like the legendaries and stuff? You don't only see these guys inside buildings nowadays. Unless you're that Onyx from the first gym town. 
Yeah, let's, uh, let's ask this one instead of that one, because this one sounds like where you're holding it hostage. This one is like before concern friends. Yo, are we having two Pokemon follow us right now? Yo, we have two Pokemon following us. Let's do it. Okay, if I'm correct, we just have to run this way. And then, uh, just keep running. I'd use my bike, but I don't know if me getting on the bike will cause uh, me to lose the... the Illigant. I wonder if I have to deal with an Applin now. Hey, up. Finally, Kato, and you found Lil again. Aww. Mother and child reunited again. Ain't that sweet? <laughs> Looks like they're both pretty happy to see each other. John Taunt? What do you say? You think uh, trying to thank you? I'd say so. Huh? Is this some of the nectar from your flower? Yo, does that mean we can finally get the. Yo! Yes. Okay. Okay, the story's progressing. What's next, I wonder? Do we have to deal with an Applin? Pretty watery. I don't think this is what you need, mate. Ain't that a pretty good idea? Let's give the Applin's nectar a try. Okay, where are we going? Hop, you're leaving me behind! Take me with you! Oh, man. Alright, we have the idea that Hop went this way, so... It wouldn't be that hard to find Hop. Hopefully. Wait, is Hop over there? Hop? Hop! Where'd you go, mate? Ah, an apple one. Okay. Is this a baby Applin? Appway! And it just runs away from us. Okay, we're chasing after Applin now. Oh no, it's up a tree. This is rotten. I don't see the Applin anywhere. I'm not sure it went. I'm sure it went up the tree. The only place I see is the tree. Yep, there it is. Something wrong with that berry tree? Woo! Ooh, an apple. Oh, my head! Ouch, the apple when it clocked you in the head. Youch. Gonna be feeling that for a while. Play! <laughs> really? I got a concussion and you just run off. Pokemon, huh? Is your head feeling a bit moist? That's gotta be Applin's set nectar on ya. It might it might have gave us the slip, but it, we got what it came from. But is it sweet enough? Hmm. Ew, you just tasted off my hair. Ugh. Sticky per se, it's more like juice than anything. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Sticky honey, then. Hmm. They aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same, but... So I was looking for plants and flowers. But I was barking up the wrong tree. What the? Whoa, a menipede. I don't see one of those every day. It's cute looking, right? But it could produce a real... Thick, gooey poison inside of... Wait a minute. That's it! 
I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar. But in reality, we need to, we really need a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. You just noticed. Yes. My dude, I mean, I figured it out right before you, but still. When it came to the Pokemon that collects and stores up, well, the answer's obvious. Beehives. That's gotta be it. Vespa Queen. The Beehive Pokemon, right? Have you seen one? I think so. I don't remember. I've seen some, some cone bees. Oh, jeez. Now we have to go on a water trip. That's fun. Especially since there's Sharpedo in this game, and Sharpedo just love to charge at you like weirdos. Anyways, if I'm correct, if I just take this path here... Oh wait, am I already going the wrong pathway? Uh... I think I'm supposed to go this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, going across this bridge, and then to the right, and I'd be really close to where I need to go. Yeah, yeah, because I could somewhat... Oh, wait. I always do this sort of thing. Oh, I can't even do it right now because I don't have any watts. <laughs> There's a Tauros. Okay, so the thing I should be looking for is right there. If a Sharkpedo charges me right now, I swear. I swear I'm going to abandon this and hop on that island. Actually, save up this uh, charge power. Oh, jeez! Yeah, it came for me from this side. Oh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, get away from me! Get away from me! Okay. Whew. Okay. Where is Hop? Where is Hop? Oh, there you are, Hop. Right? Yeah, there you are. There you are, Kato. Glad you can make it, finally. I've seen a lot of uh, combi around, but no sign of Vespa Queen. They're the ones that have the sticky honey. Huh? I spotted a power spot detector from Sonya, but why is it going off right now? Wait. Wait. Is it reacting to this tree? No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh. We have to fight a... Okay, before we do that, I swear, I let's see. What Pokemon has Fire-type moves that can one-shot... Uh -oh. mm. I don't have any Fire-type moves on my team. Dang. Well, I guess we're going Frost Shock. My go-to Pokemon for any sort of uh, problems. How do I shake a giant tree like this? Does Hop help? Uh oh! What's happening now? Baby, baby. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, beehive! Whatever uh, it is that came down and sucked you into a Pokemon den. Oh no. Hop, please tell me you're in here with me. Hop? No, no, Hop. Oh no. Ah, I'm scared. Frost shock out. <laughs> Terrible. At least I can use all six Pokemon in this. That'd be bad if I couldn't use all six of my Pokemon. Max Hailstorm. Please tell me I can catch this thing. Can I catch this? Like, after I beat it, will I be able to throw a Pokeball at it? Because that'd be cool. Frost Shock! Let's do it! You know, for some reason, Frost Shock just makes me think... This is something about Ben 10, that one cartoon. 
uh, character uh, hero thing uh, would name an alien of his. And I could kind of see his alien looking like uh, like uh, Black Kieran right now. That does nothing to me. I am invincible. Oh, you're getting your attack up. You know what? Another uh, Max Hailstorm. I really wish that uh, Kirim had a Gigantamax. Especially if he had different forms. Like, regular Kirim would have a Gigantamax that would look like... Like, uh, a mix between Black uh, Kirim and White Kirim, but... Would be more of a... Of a main Kirim. Yo, Max Honey. Yo! I wasn't expecting a Dynamax Vesma Queen. Too shocked to even think of joining you in the battle. Hop, this is why you're useless. <laughs> that is some serious sticky honey. I'm sure it's it, what the certain uh, something that Urshifu loves. And it seems like the honey was setting off my dyna my hot spot, uh, uh, my power spot detector too. Max Mushroom and this honey you can find here on the Isle of Armor. They both seem to have a, a ties with Dynamax and Gigantamax. There's a ton we don't know about yet, but there's a ton of research just waiting to be done. Come on, let's get back to the dojo at once. Yo, we about to finish this arc. Let's just fly there because I don't want to run. Yo, I could fly here. Okay, let's see. We fly here. We fly here. I'm assuming in the uh, sword, when I go up the Tower of Darkness, I can fly there. Okay. That's a pretty cool idea. Oh, jeez. Welcome back, my wandering wadu. Oh, uh, woo-woos. Oh, what's that sweet secondary detect? Wavering uh, through the air around you. Hee <laughs> hee! I mean the max honey that Urshifu loves uh, to the max. We got our hands on a nice haul of it. Did you now? Already? You put me and Kato on it, old man. There's nothing the two of us can't do together. You really did a bang up job finding the max honey with barely any hint from me. Nicely done, Kato. And from our little hop, too. You certainly didn't forget for a second that certain something was, did you? <laughs> if we add Max Honey to our Max Soup, even Urshifu will love to, uh, will sure want to sip it. Urshifu! Well, it's been real, Kato, but I think you've learned just about everything from the, the Master Dojo mean, uh, talk, which means now you can do proper battles. I could really use a better training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come, after all. I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo. If you think you're ready, come to the battle court outside. Okay, we're so going to do this battle with Urshifu as our Dynamax. Yo, battling the master when he's serious, that's seriously terrifying. He's the one who taught Lee all he knows. So Mustard's got to be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your uh, spirits for the serious battle, Kato. I guess I better start getting serious about the research I came here to do too, huh? Good luck with your thing, Kato. I'll be sure you'll... I'm sure you'll manage. You always do. I'll come dashing right back at, to catch the bat battle, though. If you uh, do try to... Take it on the Master Mustard. Alright. So. Okay. Let's first uh, get Urshifu up. Yes. Urshifu, drink it. Mm. 
Yeah. It's worth. I don't know what how I'm supposed to get those max items, but Now Urshifu is capable of gigantamaxing. He is my true starter now. Nothing he and I can't beat together. Alright, we're gonna finish this episode with a battle. Or whatever else comes up. I wonder. You like taking your Pokemon for a stroll? Yes. You decide that you... Oh, so that's how that works. Okay, so if I ever want to turn off the wandering Pokemon, I can just talk to this guy. Alright. I just want to check real quick. What's the next goal? Okay, it's still the same. He'll give us recipes to put in this thing. Restore my Pokemon. Let's do that real quick. Yo, let's do it. And now, I want to see if uh, I can change up the hairstyle. Yeah, let's see if there's any, like, special hairstyles. No, that's just it. Okay. Wasted about $3,000. Not that big a deal in this game. This game is pretty much... I can just go through it and get money really quick. I ran into that one gym leader at the station when I came in to battle the armor. You didn't remember the one. I guess all sorts of folks start coming here to... Hearing on the... Well, let's see it. Buffalo. Hmm. 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 All right, let's. Uh. Oh, Urshifu's already in front. All right, our final gym challenge. At least until the armor. Uh, until the next DLC, I believe. I'm not sure. This is my ultimate battle, I believe, in this game. Woohoo! Are you ready for another battle with the little old me? Tee hee 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 hee! That's what I want to hear. Now let's mosey on over to the battleground. This is like a champion battle. Yo! <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about this more and more these days. But how fortunate we have, we, we were to have you join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake at first. I can't thank you enough, Kato. It's been a while since I've been this excited. I can feel my blood burning in my heart just uh, dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist the battle against a worthy opponent, no matter how old I get. Now then. Let's get things going. This is the most fun I've had in... This is the most fun time in the world. There he goes! Into his badass mode! I want his hairstyle. I swear. I want his hairstyle on my character. Is there a way I can get that hairstyle on my character? How many Pokemon does he have in front? It's been a while since I faced such a uh, opponent, blah blah blah. It's time to see what your training's made of. He's got six Pokemon. Okay, I'm saving Urshifu for his Dynamax. Let's go into Frost Shock. I don't know why I started with uh, Urshifu when I could have started with Frost Shock. Good thing I switched because I wasn't gonna be able to do any attacking anyways. <laughs> Alright, so let's sheer cold. Let's take out this entire team. Let's just uh, spam the shirt cold through his whole team. Because his dyna is Gigantamax. I have to fight it with Urshifu. I just already have a feeling it's gonna be the opposite Urshifu. The dark type one. 
and I just have to see the two of them battle together. I just have a feeling it's that's what's gonna be. His whole team's gonna be fighting types, so flying types are gonna be good at this. Either that or use Pokemon that can that can one shot kill, like Pokemon that has Fisher or or Sheer Cold or or any one hit KO moves. Alright, let's, uh... This guy... Okay. Alright. Let that be a reminder of single slip. Could cost you everything. I don't think I'm slipping, dude. I mean, your Pokemon's just as weak as I am. Take this sheer cold. I know I could have used a different move, but... I mean, I'm just... I'm honestly just spamming it now. Urshifu leveled up. Eh, just la 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 la. Lichen Rock. Yeah, let's just stay in with this guy. Dragon Pulse. Just, I'm just gonna spam Dragon Pulse now. Sheer Cold's too much of a risk game. Especially since my camera's low on battery, it's like half done. So that means I need to finish this so I can finish the episode quick. So, yeah. Luxury. His Shinx evolved. <laughs> Alright, there's just this Pokemon and the next Pokemon, and then it's the Dynamax battle. Or should I call it Gigantamax? This guy just, uh, sturdied me. This guy just sturdied. <laughs> you fought, though. <laughs> I swear, these guys are bots. Corviknight. Alright. Corviknight, we're gonna try to shear cold because it'll be a good way to finish off the battle when it comes to using any other Pokemon. Ah, look at that, it's trying to light screen me. I'm using one hit KO moves, dude. Take that! Alright, we're about to do the final bit. Urshifu. He's using an Urshifu! Okay! Switch. Urshifu. And... Yo, this is good. My skills are only getting sharper. Try not to uh, be get capitated by my might! Yeah, he's using the Dark-type version. Hold on, let me... Let me see if it gives me info. Yeah, the fighting dark. Well, mine's the fighting uh, water. Yo, when it's Dynamaxed, uh, when Dynamax, his weakest move becomes his strongest. And it ignores Max Guard. Yo, I'm doing it. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah! Ready, set, go! Become the flowing water! Gigantamax! Three... Uh, not three. 6.30! Yo, yo, he's dying. He's Gigantamaxing too. Oh, yo! Yo, here we go! Yo, his Gigantamax... He just looked like he was using the Kamehameha! <laughs> Yo, this is perfect! The ultimate battle! Water and Dark! The ultimate water and dark fight battle in history! G-Max Rapid Flow! Yo! Max Knuckle. 
Dude, use your G-Max move. I don't want to fight you if you're not going to use your G-Max move. Oh, he's prepping. That's what he's doing. Okay. Well, let's just see if your prepping can handle against my overmight. Yo, he's about finished. Max ooze. Really? Really? You know what? I'm gonna just heal. I'm gonna waste his last turn to heal and see if we can get him to use his Dynamax. Uh, not Dynamax, his Gigantamax move. Because it's kind of unfair if he's gonna not use his Gigantamax move. Oh, what? Fail! I want my money back. Either way, that was a good game. The battle's over, basically, because we're gonna one-shot this thing with our our main attack. We're gonna use close combat, because why not? Make sure it's dead. Woohoo! Aha! I see you got the fundamentals back now, but that alone won't cut it. Even though you're dead. Okay, I don't get you at all. I'm gaining levels. Not enough to get Mifuru to level up, but eh. He does a backflip and a smile. Ha 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 ha! Strength elbows and blah 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 blah, blah. but the strength you have now is uh, unwavering. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Yo, you got 30,000 for winning. A special league card. Yo, I think this is the end of the episode and the end of the Isle of Armor. Seems I have my own uh, training to do. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost? Ah, y'all came. I knew you couldn't get it. Uh, you're ugly dashing, darling. Oh, but look at me getting all distracted. You are amazing, Kato. Looks like we all get to celebrate with Max Soup. Oh! I get to call you Master Newbie from now on. Well, I'm not surprised in a bit, Kato. I knew you'd win. And you are fabulous too, Urshifu. Ursha! <laughs> Alright! Um, <laughs> Kato. Uh, how do I put this? Perhaps I should uh, offer my congratulations. But I won't. Honestly, I don't see why I should celebrate anything. I will admit, I do feel a bit better. I couldn't hold a candle against a trainer who can defeat the master at his full strength. But when we next meet on the battlefield, It'll be I who will take victory, in a fair fight, no less. I don't think I'll lose. You got to quite the attitude. Oh man, I mean, this is just getting old. Oh, I see you back to normal. Kato. It'll make us both stronger. Blah blah blah. So, we're ready when the can comes. Wait, what? Oh, don't worry. You'll find out what I'm talking about eventually. Anyways, let's head back, shall we? Like one big family. Yeah! I think that's it for the... For the Isle of Armor. I'm not exactly sure, but... I think that's it. We'll find out right now. Yeah, at the end. Okay, Kata Squad. That was a fun three episodes. <sighs> Uh, I honestly feel like this actually goes on a lot longer than people say. Because this took me about five hours to complete. Restricted sparring. If you have the courage to try, talk to you. Okay, so maybe there'll be one more episode where we try on against this. But until then, Kata Squad... Uh, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more uh, content like this, uh, and uh, above all else, honestly, I'm just having fun here. This is the, really the end of the Isle of Armor DLC. 
other than catching the Pokemon, which I'm not going to do that on camera. That's a bit much. I mean, it, who knows what I'll get at the end of it, but I really don't want to deal with that. So, yeah. Honestly, though, I'm honestly, since I'm recorded all this in all of all three, all three episodes in one day, I'm going to post episode one uh, today, the day of the release. It might come out at night. I'm uh, a night at my time, which is, which is, which the time right now for me is uh, 4 11 p.m. It'll probably be out sometime around 8 to 9 o'clock tonight at my time. And yeah. And tomorrow's episode will be part two that I recorded earlier. And then uh, on uh, Friday. You'll get this episode. I honestly don't know why I'm saying all this. I think it's because last episode I mentioned that I'm going to post the two of them uh, in one day. The first two episodes one day and then this episode and any other episodes to come later. But let me tell you this much. This has been fun. I mean, I wished it was longer, honestly, but it took about five hours. That's about... That's actually pretty good for a Pokemon game. Especially if you add this with the main storyline. That means you'll get about an extra five hours of the main storyline. Especially if you actually decide to try to catch them all. Instead of uh, trying to become champion in the game until after you catch them all. Yeah, so... Anyways, I love you guys. You guys are beautiful people. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit the like button so I know what you can like. Follow my Twitter. It's down below. And be on the lookout for something new and cool coming out soon. Because I'm going to make a, something that all of us will enjoy together. And it's going to be great. Anyways. You guys are beautiful people. I love you all. Take care and have a good time in the Isle of Armor. I know I sure did. Kato Squad out! See you guys in my next video.